Hey guys, Jim the Stargazer here. Sorry it's been a while since I made a video. I've uh, been having issues with my Anthem uh, MRX-1120, so I haven't been able to make any videos with sound. Uh, I had sent it back in to Anthem, and uh, basically they uh, were gonna replace it, but then they didn't have any more, so they sent me an 1140. So this video here I'm making is for the unboxing of the MRX 1140, going over a couple things on it, uh, showcasing uh, some of the features they have. Uh, also, my uh, CDU uh, is down for the past two months. Another reason why I haven't made any videos showing the, the jet ski is because uh, one of the wiring harnesses uh, eroded. And the salt, it's the salt water, and uh, CDU just doesn't have it. They had to they had to wait for it to come from China, I guess, to fix it under warranty. So. They got one piece of the harness in, and the second piece of the harness is still not in. Two months later, they lost a whole, almost, heck, almost a whole summer now um, without the ski. So, but at least I'm excited to show the MRX 1140 to you guys. Uh, so I went ahead and I uh, unboxed it. So uh, yeah, so let's get started, and I'll show you guys the unboxing of the 1140, and I'll just make another video showing the the. Um, um, what do you call it? The arc features, the new arc features, because they're pretty cool. So stay tuned. Okay, so here is the Anthem MRX 1140. I'm gonna open it up. Got the knife ready. Let's check it out. So, yeah. Just gonna run this down. I don't have a stand for the camera. Let's see how this guy looks. <laughs> All right, like you said, they got the they got the Arc kit, new one. It's called Arc Mike Kit Silver. It's different than the original, the old one that came with the 1120. So I'm gonna be using that guy. And every single box that I get, for some reason, the styrofoam comes cracked. I don't know why. <laughs> so if I have to send it back, I gotta watch how I send it with the front styrofoam. This side's okay. All right, so we're gonna pull it out and we're gonna move the box over. <laughs> All right. And... All right, so you see they, they package it pretty good. Uh, I thought I had some, oh yeah, I did. <laughs> I have some things on here on the table. Let's protect the table. So it looks like it comes with this end of the power cable. Comes with the power cable. They send the remote and they send two antennas for it. The 1120, they didn't send me antennas for it. So that's nice. That this one, they are. So they sent me antennas for the wireless, the Wi Fi. Okay, so let's get these guys underneath so I don't want to scratch my table. When I take it out of the plastic, I had another one. Oh, it fell on the floor. Get this. Yeah, I do is protect the table. Once we take the styrofoam and the plastic off. 45 pounds, it's pretty big. Oh, I had something in the microwave. I had forgot about that. All right, so, let's take it out. This is the rear. Ah, so nice and pretty. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's go around to the front. Let's go around to the front. So this is the front of the receiver. It's MRX 1140 Anthem. They made it look really pretty compared to the old one. The old one was, this one sold nice and pretty. <clears throat> let's go around to the rear. All right, so let's see what connections we got on this guy. Yeah, so you can see that someone had touched, someone had used this before. Had yeah, some scratches here. Okay, so you got, you got your left front, 
right front for the amplifier, the center surrounds the backs. You got the wide, high, tight three. So this is capable, of this, so this amplifier is 15 channels. So it has 15 channels here, but, but it powers 11. Oh, so it powers 11 channels. Let me zoom out. Oh, sorry, I'm zooming in. Okay, so this one has 11 channels powered. The front two and the center and then the sides, um, they all have 140 RMS at 8 ohms and then 174 RMS at 6 ohms. Um, and then the, um, the remaining have 60 RMS at 8 ohms and 75 RMS at uh, 6 ohms. Same as saying it's 4 ohms, you know, when they're looking at it like that. Uh, so this one, I wonder how they're going to do it. So they're going to have the HDMI 2.1 upgrade you can do. So he said that you're going to ship it back in when it comes out. So uh, it's going to be like a $400 to $500 upgrade, he said. But yeah, this is the back. It's got one, two, three, four, five analog channels. We got three audio in, opticals. We got one out, but on my 1120, it never works right. This optical out, I always try to hook up my um, PlayStation uh, headphones to it, and it never worked, so I always connect to the TV. Uh, looks like I got some coax in. It looks like whoever had this one before. So this is the refurbished unit, right? So they, whoever had this one before, uh, they use this coax in, and you can see here that they were doing the HDMI out one a lot. Uh, then it's got four triggers. Or three triggers, and then it's got a. This is a repeater for the remote, so you can have an extender for the remote. And then it's got the two wireless network antennas, and then it's got the wired one, and then the update for. There's a app for the that you can update with. I forget the name of it. Another video, I'll say what it is. I forgot, but this is where you make the updates to that. All right, so this is the MRX 1140 refurbished unit. Uh, so I'm going to hook it all up and I'm going to run arc on it and then um, I'll show the I'll show the uh, menu what it looks like I'll show the front of when it's on and then I'll show the menu on the TV and we'll go through some settings on it so yeah give me a minute while I get it hooked up all right so I got the anthem hooked up it looks pretty cool it looks way better than the 1120 that I had that they swapped it with and uh, they put the menu now on the on the display here. It wasn't like that before in the 1120. They didn't have the display there. It would be on screen only. So now they're putting the display here on the... So whenever you do something... So whenever you hit menu, like setup or something, it comes here now. It wasn't like this before on the 1120. It on the 1120, it would be on the screen. Full screen would be black and it would have the whole setup. This one, uh, it shows at the bottom a little bit, main menu speaker setup. So, let's explore it a little bit. Let's go check out, let's go check out some preferences. Okay, set the language, automatic updates, I gotta connect it to the, what do you call it? Internet for that. The brightness, on-screen info display, so you get 16 by 9 on screen full zone both zones front panel displayed info all and then we got master volume scale it's in db mute level main max volume so the main my main max volume is set see it's showing here to 10 db i don't like that i'm gonna set that down because last time I did that, blew my speakers, <laughs> and then uh, power on's fine, view, last views, headphones, mutes, main outs, so all this is on here now, uh, this is all on here now, where it used to be on the screen, so I'm going to turn on the CEC, CEC power off. Oh, see, it's got some new features it didn't have before. 
Okay, so those are preferences. Okay. And like I said, it puts the menu here now. Okay, so I'm gonna play with it a little bit more and I'll show you guys, I'll be back. All right guys, so uh, made, so made the video of the unboxing of 1140. So yeah, the, the, the sound quality of the 1140 is, uh, is great. It's much better than the 1120. Uh, messed around with it, changed the settings quite a few times. Uh, messed with the bass settings, uh, it, it's great. It, it's got, now it, now it uh, controls the polarity also, as well as the, the phase of the subwoofers in tune with the other subwoofer and um, and the fronts. It's also got the super sub front mode so you can have your fronts on full and then you can add a subwoofer uh, to it which you didn't have the feature before. So it is pretty cool. So yeah, the only thing I don't like about it is um, the CEC doesn't work at all on it. Um, I've been messing around with it trying to get it to work. But uh, 1120, it worked like 80% of the time. Um, and um, the uh, Yamaha that I had, the Vintage RX A770, it worked every time perfectly, flawlessly. It always even showed the name of the device that it was connected to. But for some reason, the 1140, it doesn't engage at all, the CEC. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to see. I'm getting a new TV soon, uh, trying to get an OLED, uh, uh, Sony OLED. So if once I get that and if it doesn't work, I might have to switch switch to our cam. But apart from that, the receiver is great. The improvement in sound quality is top notch. It's a great product, guys. Just my two cents. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna make, start making some more videos here with the sound since I got the receiver back. And um, also, once I get this, the CDU back, I'll be out making some more videos. So all right, guys, thanks for watching.